All right, everyone, welcome back again to another Race to Green episode with UMG. Um, and we are, of course, this week getting ready for another epic all-star esports battle. But we've, we've actually got something I think that's cooler, perhaps the most legendary grids ever in sim racing. I think there's 455 wins in F1 or, or sorry, F1 starts between you, something like 2,700 IndyCar starts, a bunch of Le Mans wins. We're doing a, uh, I guess we'll call, I, I, I guess we'll call it the, uh, the old school race that's going to prelude to the esports battle this this weekend. And Max Pappas is joining me. Uh, Max, we were just chatting a little bit now. Look, you've raced F1, IndyCar, carts, IRL, the whole indie scene, the open wheel scene in North America. Sports cars, you've won Daytona, you've won IMSA championships. How much have you actually done in sim racing? I tell you after Friday. Uh... <laughs> It's actually funny, you know, like sim racing, I am basically at the level of uh, when I was about 12 years old in karting, you know, I'm beginning, you know, so my goal is, as I told Dario, is uh, try to cause less than five yellows. <laughs> and, uh, Obviously, we spoke with, with uh, TK last week about him going into the real race. This week, you've got him. You've got your old mates, like you say, Dario, Helio, uh, Jill. There's tons of guys. Um, how did this kind of come about amongst, amongst you guys? Obviously, Juan Pablo has been involved with Sim and with the race for a bit. Did he kind of instigate this, or were you sitting around watching and saying, hey, I want to be a part of it? Uh, I mean, first of all, you know, uh, my invitation came directly from my old friend, uh, Tony Canan. I've been a huge fan of uh, sim racing uh, uh, since uh, the inception. You know, although I'm horrible at it, <laughs> I actually use the real sim uh, uh, from time to time. Uh, you know, the real NASCAR sim that we have at General Motors. And uh, uh, but you know, besides all of that, I really think that uh, what we are doing and what you guys are doing, it's something historical. I mean, like uh, I was part of IROC. Uh, where you had different drivers from different series racing the same cars. Uh, I know that this is virtual, but I got to tell you this. Once uh, on that chat was the name of a guy like Mika Hakkinen. I mean, the guy has been my hero, man. You know, he's been uh, someone that I looked up all my life. And a uh, name like that, uh, you know, obviously, name like Dario, Tony, uh, you know, you name it, you know, like, you know, legendary people, uh, you know, from all around the world and all around, all around the, the different part of racing, it just uh, it just make. I hope that these people out there understand that uh, uh, how tight the racing community is and how crazy we are, because uh, we all want to compete, no matter if you are 51 like me or a little younger or a little bit more chubby like Jill is. <laughs> this is lesson. Yes, I heard. <laughs> and uh, so it's fun. I, well, I've heard because uh, you guys are all on a, a group chat for this. I've been, I haven't seen any of it. It's still private. You're safe. But I've heard the banter between you guys is pretty legendary. Some are saying it's probably more entertaining than the race itself. Who's, uh, who's your money on or who are you, um, who's been the most, I guess, provocative in the chat? Mm. The, the guy that uh, uh, is usually, you know, the one that is the most, uh, you know, precise guy, Jill DeFerrin. Jill is in Fort Lauderdale at home, in his house, doing nothing there. <laughs> like that. And uh, and he told me that basically, I gave him a compliment, and the second things he writes, he's like absolutely no Italian. Part of the part of the, I, I'm not so sure if he called it old fart game uh, old <laughs> event. And I try to I try to remind him that when you pass the fifty. You become immediately a legend. Yeah. At least in at least in your own world. Does that so wait, so hang on. Does that mean Tony Canon's not a legend yet? No. Oh wow. All right. I like this. Yeah. Um, I will give you one word of advice, because I I experienced it this weekend. Watch out for Johnny Herbert. That man will take out everyone if he can. Listen, you know, I was a part of the Johnny Herbert uh, uh, saga. You know, I was with him at Lotus. You know, I was a test driver. He was the race driver. I seen him doing things that uh, they were definitely regrettable. So, Johnny, I know you're short. I know that one of the legs doesn't work very well. <laughs> if you wreck me, 
I come to England and there would be a problem. <laughs> Perfect. You can take care of him for me too then because I got taken out the F1 race. So, you know, <laughs> it was it was a bit rough. I was on for, I think, P3. And, it's, I, you know, I'm not mad. I swear I'm not mad. Really? Um, I would be mad like hell. <laughs> I couldn't be mad. I was streaming. You know, it would have looked bad. I had to, I had to smile. And, you know, you know how it is. Um, listen, listen you know, we can use uh, my, you know, in my real life, you know, I'm the IndyCar steward. Yeah, I was gonna. Well, I was gonna say you have the rule set. Yeah, and actually, what I did, you know, I tell you how much I love uh, uh, gaming. Last year, I was uh, the steward for the G Challenge for the Logitech G Challenge. Uh, I went to Las Vegas, and uh, I was uh, proud to be able to, uh, you know, basically officiate the race. And uh, as I, I offer myself to write a new set of rules, but I guess that all my compatriot, uh, all the guys that are actually racing. With me, they say no. Uh, so, I, I mean, don't know. They probably, what, do they not trust you? You're going to write the rules in your favor? Like, you start poll no matter what. You don't have to do a pit stop. I, I am a very, very objective person, you know, and I promised them that I was going to write the rule in the objective way. But, you know, we will see. You know, we will see which kind of ruling we need to apply once we race on Saturday and uh, uh, who will be permanently banned. <laughs> Throwing <laughs> permanent bans out. Um you actually have been. I, I, I browsed your Twitter just quickly, and you were very supportive of NASCAR's efforts this week, obviously doing their e-race, their sim race. Um, and you even included that this this could be the future. Elaborate on that me, for me a little bit, because how do you mean? Do you mean we're going to see more of this? Do you mean this could actually be side by side with real racing? Where do you where do you see sim actually going? I, you know, how I look at. Uh you know, virtual racing uh, versus real racing, it's, uh, th there will be a couple of different phases. Right now, with all the, you know, unfortunate situation, and actually, first of all, you know, my heart goes out uh, to, you know, when we are here laughing and joking and doing that, but it is, we are in the situation because of a very serious situation. So, you know, I don't want people to just think that, uh, you know, yeah, but that, you know, we're taking it easy, you know, it's obviously, you know, hopefully that the Saturday event, uh, will bring uh, some smile and some joy to some people that maybe are not uh, smiling that much. And uh, uh, how I see sim, you know, virtual racing and real racing, uh, you know, combine themselves in the future is the fact that, uh, in my opinion, sim racing is similar to what was karting for me when I was a kid. Uh, inexpensive, everyone can try it out. Uh, and the good part uh, is the fact that uh, uh, during the NASCAR race, I was there um, watching it with my 11 years old son, uh, Matteo. And uh, I told Matteo, I said, you know that if you train and if you, you know, if you're good enough on in sim racing, you could actually race versus Jimmy, uh, William Byron, Kevin Harvick. And he told me, really? For real? Yeah, you could. And to me, that what uh, sim racing does. It breaks down the barrier of age, distance. And uh, is sim racing, you know, like real racing? No, you know, I don't think so. You know, I don't think so. Uh, will it ever substitute real racing? No, in my opinion, because uh, at least for people like me, I'm born to smell, I'm born to, you know, feel, sound, everything. So uh, I, you cannot substitute that, at least in my heart. Uh, will they together? Will be there together? Yes. Do I see a possible uh, Indy 500 um, where there would be eventually, you know, one or two virtual guys, you know, being able to win a million dollar, you know, while the real race is happening? Why not? You know, when that will happen, you know, I don't know, but I really see that uh, developing very quickly. Yeah, the esports side is certainly growing up. I mean, the technology is there. I love what you say about it kind of being a parallel to karting and being a tool um, and something. I mean, we see Lando and uh, Norris and Max Verstappen on them all the time. I know when I karted, you know, if I made a mistake, I had three or four weeks between races where I live in Canada sometimes, and you couldn't fix it right away. It just kind of sat in your mind. I think you're right. Maybe if you get out of the cart, maybe even together, you get in the sim, you can kind of work on those that, that craft a little bit. You've also got some different involvement as well. You, you mentioned where you are right now at MPI, uh, which is Max Pappas Incorporated, if I'm not mistaken, or 
innovations. Innovations. There we go. Thank you so much. Um, you make steering wheels for race cars. You guys tweeted as well saying that you've made one for Sim now. Are you guys going to get more involved? How do you see that sort of getting involved in your business? So first of all, you know, thank you for mentioning MPI. And uh, let me give you a little brief of what we are. You know, MPI is my own company. You know, we are a steering wheel manufacturer. We produce everything in Italy in my factory. Uh, I started this from my garage, you know, for a need uh, in NASCAR for me, Jimmy Johnson and Dale Jr. And we grow the company uh, to now have 65 different models. Uh, we are we won 14 NASCAR championship, uh, one IndyCar championship, uh, uh, three V8 Supercar Championship with Penske, wow. a dominant force in dirt racing in America. Uh, and uh, obviously, we always kept an eye on, on sim racing because I did it. I, I do that for myself. And uh, in the next two days, uh, we will launch uh, a brand new line, uh, affordable product uh, for sim racers, where you can actually put uh, one the, of a real NASCAR steering wheel one shaped like that just built in a way that is not as expensive to build so that we have this opportunity you know to give out uh, to people that they love the sport like i do but maybe they can only do it virtually so we're giving them uh, the chance to have in their hand uh, the real steering wheel that jimmy johnson has or uh the f steering wheel with the same grip that i had in my hand when i won uh, you know le mans and daytona so uh, you know, my little MPI was a, a little train that could, and now we are here talking about it. And I'm proud, really proud to tell you that uh, um, we're going to be more and more involved in racing. By the end of 2020, we will have, uh, you know, a full uh, sim chassis specific for NASCAR wow. racing. So you, you will see us play in that. So maybe that means that uh, I can get a little bit better. I just don't completely get run over by my 10-year-old kid when I practice. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Well, listen, uh, best of luck this weekend. I think it's going to be a hoot. I think it's going to be great. I can't wait to see you guys interact with each other. Um, and like you say, yes, it's it's a troubling time right now. But, hey, it's the best we can do to provide entertainment. And hopefully, like you say, it makes people at home smile and enjoy this. And I think it's a, it's a great way to do so. So the, the Legends Trophy, I think you're gonna, we're going to call it. What, what do you give yourself as chances? You get who you, like I say, who you think your biggest competition is? My chances are minus four. <laughs> okay. Uh, if it's so golf, that's pretty good. My, you know, hydrating system that uh, is going to, you know, I'm, I'm just debating if having Miller Lite or an IPA. In the <laughs> uh, it's going to be fun, you know, but I can tell you, I, I put my money on uh, Dario Franchitti. Okay. I know uh, he's been wearing the sim out. <laughs> so, All right. I think I put my money on Dario or uh, uh, maybe Paul Tracy. Ah, good old Paul. As a Canadian, I respect that. I have to get behind the Paul Tracy train as well. Hopefully, he's not going to use his chrome horn like he did before. Yeah. You know, the chrome horn uh, is a term invented by Paul Tracy when he basically goes behind people and knock them out of the track. I, I use that. That's a Canadian move. I don't think he invented that. I think we all do that. Uh, all right, got it. <laughs> so anyway, listen, I, I just want to say, you know, for the Legends race, uh, uh, everyone that's been uh, participating and have been working on it, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's a, for me personally, it's a dream coming through. You know, I know we're doing it virtually, but we're putting together uh, people that have the same love for the sport, and uh, I'm so excited to be able to do that. I, I, I really am. I haven't been this excited uh, for a long, long time about, you know, racing. And uh, this will give an opportunity for all of us to share some laugh. And uh, let's see how serious it gets, because uh, I'm sure by the end of the race, there will be some happy faces and less happy faces. <laughs> but I'm sure there's going to be fun had by all. Listen, Max, thanks so much for joining us. And thanks for doing this. This is going to be a ton of fun. I'll let you get back to work. I know everyone's practicing at home, but you've got some work to do. So I look forward to seeing it. And I can't wait to see what you guys produce for the Sim World from MPI. Thank you. Good day, guys. So there you go. Uh, Max Pappas. Wow. How cool is that? Another name that I used to look up to as a child and, and watch race and be inspired by and dream to be maybe one day. And Thankfully, some of us can vicariously. In fact, all of us have the opportunity to do that through sim racing, and I think that's pretty special. And we're proud to be bringing that to you guys and helping you guys in what is a pretty difficult time at home right now for everyone. So hope everyone's staying safe. Um, another way that you guys can actually entertain yourself through other forms of gaming is through UMG, who are sponsoring this series and helping put it on. You can head over to umggaming.com, and you can basically do anything from Forza to Fortnite, FIFA, Call of Duty, Counter-Strike, 
doesn't matter. Um, and if you've got lots of friends right now that are gaming a lot because they're at home just like you, well, you can put up or shut up. You can put your money where your mouth is and play for cash. So go check it out. It's actually pretty cool. It's a cool way to bring sort of all the games together. Check out the description below for the, for the Legends trophy. I think that's going to be a ton of fun. What a bunch of drivers. The older generation who didn't necessarily have Sim when we were younger, um, getting involved. Super cool that they're supporting Sim and, and, uh, and helping us enjoy this troubling time. So hope everyone's healthy. Hope everyone's safe. Check it out, guys. We'll see you in the next one.